Hello, this is Nindy Kerr and welcome to another Nindy's Creative Corner video. Today we're going to learn about the Stampin' Seal, which I will admit I've had some issues with, but we are going to start with replacing the cartridge. Now there's a side, there's two sides. One is kind of light blue and has a Stampin' Up! logo. And then you will take the side that has the two X's and here's the opening part, and that's where this point needs to go through. So match up your X's, and they'll fit in right like that. And I like to have something to help me turn it over, and here's your opening again. And we'll just snap it on like that. Now there's a trick. Okay, when you first get it, you need to move it a little bit to make sure there's some sticky at the end. Now when you're doing it, you need to, the angle is important, you need to do like this, and then at the end, stand it straight up and move it to the side extra quickly. So I'll demonstrate. Then straight up, quick. And then you go down again, straight up, and quick. I won't tell you how many of these I ruined because I didn't know this trick. I really think they should have showed us. Oh, and we're also going to learn how to do ribbon. Oh, that's why I brought this in. <clears throat> now you need to do it on the ribbon itself or on the front of your cardstock. I guess I'll just hope I'm straight. Up and here's my ribbon. I want it to wrap around with about six inches on each side. That should give us plenty of room to work. And let's see, want it over to one side. I guess we'll just fake it and line it up with the strip and then just lay your ribbon down until where you want to tie your bow. And we'll do some over here. And meet. And this is where we can tie our knot. And that's usually I ended up with a short side and a long side. So start with the short side to make your little loop. My daughter's called them bunny ears. And then adjust the size how you want. You want to make sure they're even, stick in however many fingers you want. And they're close enough. And then trim the edges. And then we'll go ahead and that's why the silicone craft sheet is so nice. And put it on this way. Our fold's up here. Always make sure and check. Then we will stamp a happy birthday. I have plenty of birthdays this month. Although not as one of my not as many as one of my friends, she has 17 birthdays in March. 
I think that's what she said. And we're using just jade ink. And we're using the Everyday Label Punch. Which looks like I got it. Oh well. <clears throat> so you can either clean it off as a Kleenex. You get that much on, you really probably should wipe it off. And then it's important to go straight down and then straight up. I should probably do it on another section. So straight down and straight up. Okay, good. And then just center it how you want. And we will put on some Stampin' Dimensionals. I don't like soggy centers. And hopefully this will be okay without sponging or anything. Make sure it's still the correct way. I think we'll just put it up towards the top. There we go. So now you know how to use stamp and seal. Remember those techniques of holding it down and then at the end straight up. I guess I should things up here. Okay, so you go like like this and then at the end you go straight up and over to the side real quick. So remember that technique and you and your stamp and seal will be happy together. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Remember to sign up for my newsletter so you can get news of everything that's going on at Nindy's Creative Corner. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.